majestic sizes, glamorous coatings, eye-catching patterns, and Herculaneum bodies. Some horse breeds are truly a class apart from the rest of the 600 horse species living in the world. Hang on, as here comes the most beautiful horses on planet Earth. The Berber Horse Take a look at the Berber Horses of Morocco, one of the oldest horse breeds. They possess a powerful chest, strong arched neck, high wither, short back, and sloping croup. The exact origin of this breed is unknown, although it was written off in the 2nd century BC and was certainly well developed by the 8th century. There is also controversy over whether Barb and Arabian horses share a common ancestor, or if the Arabian was a predecessor or descendant of the Barb. However, the modern Barb has been influenced by the Arabian, and the two are commonly interbred to produce Arab Barbs that combine the best traits from both breeds. Andalusian Andalusian horses boast a noble appearance, elegant and strong build, and long, thick mane and tail. Over the years, they have displayed most coat colors. Today, gray and brown Andalusians are the most common, with black, dun, palomino, and chestnut also seen. Once you've seen an Andalusian horse, it is a breed you won't soon forget. Its long, flowing mane and tail and animated, graceful movements command attention. While the Andalusian is a natural pro in the dressage ring, it adapts beautifully to other activities as well. You'll find Andalusians on rugged mountain trails, in pleasure classes, and even being driven. This breed's beauty and seemingly boundless competence have earned it enduring popularity through the ages. Marwari Horse the Marwari horse breed is easily recognizable due to its distinctive curled ears, which even a child can identify. This breed has a rich history rooted in the folklore of the Indian subcontinent. It was created by crossbreeding Arabian horses with a local Indian breed. The Rathors, an Indian clan, selectively bred these horses to enhance their best qualities, resulting in the Marwari horse in the 1100s. By the 16th century, Marwari horses were used for the cavalry and were a popular choice for this purpose because of their strong, natural sense of direction, which helped lost riders find their way back home in the vast desert. The Gypsy Gypsy horses, known for their excellent temperaments and recognized for their beautiful feathering and eye-catching coats, are quickly growing in popularity today. Originally from Ireland, they are relatively small horses, standing between 12.2 and 16 hands high. While they may be shorter than your typical draft, they are broadly built and are easily capable of pulling carriages and caravans, while also serving as riding horses that can support heavy riders. The Gypsy still makes an impressive cart horse, and you'll find it competing at shows and driving competitions, as well as pulling carriages for pleasure. With their calm nature, they can be well paired with children, as well as with beginner and advanced adult riders. Appaloosa Horse The Appaloosa horse breed has a rich history associated with the Nez Perce tribe. These horses are believed to have originated from a variety of Spanish horses, commonly known as spotted horses, which were traded into the Northwest in the mid to late 18th century. The Nez Perce tribe then bred these horses for their intelligent temperament, sure-footedness, endurance, and speed. The horses were highly valued for their ability to navigate treacherous trails from winter quarters in the Wallawa Valley of eastern Oregon, through the Rocky Mountains to summer encampments on the plains. These horses were not only fast enough to catch a bison, but also Pasofino, which is smooth-gated, allowing hunters to fire accurately while galloping. Arabian Horse The Arabian Horse is a magnificent breed with a finely chiseled head, dished face, long arching neck, and high tail carriage. These features make it easy to identify an Arabian Horse from a whole flock. Arabian Horses are beautiful, elegant, versatile, swift, and enduring, making them truly special. While the exact origins of the Arabian Horse are still shrouded in mystery, they were refined by the migratory Bedouin people over thousands of years in the Arabian Peninsula in the Middle East. 
These horses were bred to be swift, loyal, and elegant, and they influenced nearly all of the breeds of horses that we have today. They are commonly referred to as the father of all horses, because every horse breed has Arabian ancestry. Kiger Mustang The Kiger Mustang is one of the most stunning horse breeds with golden coats and thick manes and tails. They are an American icon and the most sought after wild horses at BLM adoptions. These horses are only found in southeastern Oregon, making it the only place in the world where they are found. Interestingly, DNA testing revealed that Kigers are descendants of the Spanish horses brought to North America in the 17th century. Before the Kigers were found, it was believed that these lines were extinct. Today, they are believed to be the last remaining wild horse to still retain Spanish roots. Halflinger Horse With their chestnut coats, friendliness, versatility, and durability, the Halflinger Horse is a beautiful breed that easily charms people. This breed is also highly intelligent, which has its benefits and cons. The Halflinger's intelligence means that it learns new skills quickly, but may regularly outwit its owner. The Halflinger breed officially began in the foothills of the Alps in the 19th century, and has brought joy to equestrians worldwide in the 150 years since then. Some believe their development dates back to the 6th century, when Eastern Goth troops may have abandoned their Arabian and Barb horses in the Tyrolean valleys of Austria and Northern Italy while fleeing from the Byzantine Empire. The Nabstrupper The Nabstrupper is a rare Danish horse breed characterized by the unconventional range of coloration on their coats, often resembling the Dalmatian breed of dogs. The breed has around 600 living individuals worldwide. These horses are known for their speed and endurance and trace back to the age of the Vikings when they were used for transportation of goods. The Nabstrup breed was developed in Denmark around three centuries ago and is actually a branch of the Fredericksburger, one of the oldest European breeds. Therefore, these two breeds share a common history up to the late 1700s. Fjord the Fjord horse breed has eyes like the mountain lakes on a midsummer evening and a bold bearing of the neck like a lad from the mountains on his way to his beloved. It also has well-defined withers like the contours of the mountains set against an evening sky. The breed's temperament is as lively as a waterfall in spring, yet good-natured. Like the Nabstrupper, the Fjord horse breed belongs to the age of Vikings and was largely used for agricultural purposes. The original Fjord horse is believed to have migrated to Norway and was domesticated over 4,000 years ago. Archaeological evidence suggests that the Fjord horse has been selectively bred for over 2,000 years, first by the Vikings around 1200 BC. Thoroughbred Thoroughbreds are known for their agility, speed, and spirit, and are considered hot-blooded horses. This horse breed was specifically developed for horse racing, and while the term thoroughbred is sometimes used to refer to any breed of purebred horse, it technically only refers to the thoroughbred breed. Although they are mainly used for racing, they are also bred for other riding disciplines, such as show jumping, combined training, dressage, polo, and fox hunting. They are commonly crossbred to create new breeds or to improve existing ones and have been influential in the creation of the Quarter Horse, Standard Bred, Anglo-Arabian, and various warm blood breeds. Lusitano Lusitano horses have a compact muscular body, courage, and agility, making them ideally suited for herding. Their physique is typical of the Portuguese horse breed, with a short back, medium-sized body, and a so-called ram's head, which is a convex head and nose. They have expressive eyes, a nicely curved neck, and a slightly sloping croup. Due to their well-positioned back and low leg activity, Lusitanos are very comfortable to ride, which is why they are also appreciated by riders with back problems. They are considered to be one of the oldest horse breeds in Europe and are believed to have an old relation with the Berber and Andalusian horse. American Paint Horse Thanks to its flashy coloring, genial temperament, and versatility, the Paint Horse is now a very popular breed all over the world. 
the American Paint Horse Association counts around 100,000 members of this breed globally. In the 1500s, Spanish explorers brought the predecessors of the paint horse breed to North America. These horses likely had barb, Andalusian, and Arabian bloodlines, and sported distinctive spotted and two-tone coloring. In fact, many experts believe that explorer Hernando Cortes brought a particular sorrel and white stallion to North America, from which the modern paint breed might be descended. Until 1940, paints shared a gene pool with quarter horses, but were then recognized as a separate breed. Menorquin Horse Menorquin horses have a nicely shaped head with relatively small ears and a strong neck with a beautiful, lush mane. They have a strikingly slim and athletic body and long legs with strong joints. Their hindquarters are extremely well developed, making them perfect for proudly presenting a walking passage, which is known as the Iberian horse's specialty. At the same time, they have a relatively slender physique, which is highlighted by their long tail. These beautiful horses are known for their black-coated color. Even though they are also born with a brown coat, Menorquin horses are only recognized as such if they are black. Like with Frisian horses, markings are not desired and only accepted if they are very small. Clydesdale. You. The Clydesdale is a breed that combines strength and style with distinctive action that lifts each foot cleanly off the ground, making the bottom of the foot visible from behind. Their forelegs are well planted under the shoulders, their legs are straight, and their feet are durable. Clydesdales have breadth between the eyes, a flat facial profile, and a wide muzzle. Their withers are high, their back is short, and their quarters are long and well muscled. The Clydesdale resembles the Shire, and the two breeds are related. They are considered the second largest horses after the Shire. Their history dates back to the mid-1700s, when native Scottish horses were mated with larger Flemish horses. Black Forest Horse The Black Forest Horse owes its name to its place of origin, the Black Forest in Germany, and is characterized by its luscious locks. They are known for the contrast between their rich chestnut coat, which ranges in tone from light to dark chocolate brown, and their long, thick flaxen mane and tail. Formerly acknowledged as a breed in 1893, their roots date back to the Middle Ages when they were used for agricultural purposes. Black Forest horses are used for a range of riding and driving disciplines and are sometimes still used as farm and pack horses. They cut an especially fine figure as carriage horses in parades. Their wonderful temperament makes them ideally suited for novice riders and children, as well as for therapy work. Percheron. The Percheron is a large, powerful draft horse that originated in northern France, combining elegance with great strength through its energetic, free-moving stride and lack of feathered limbs. It is considered the fourth largest horse breed in the world and one of the oldest horse breeds on the planet. With its unfeathered legs and long stride, the handsome Percheron is an outlier in the world of heavy horse breeds, owing much of its elegance and poise to infusions of oriental blood. Percherons are typically docile and good-natured, without being sluggish or dull. They are characteristically bomb-proof in traffic and can switch without fuss from busy towns to quiet field work. They have great stamina and high energy levels, which enable them to work willingly. Oldenburg. The Oldenburg breed was originally developed as a strong carriage horse containing Spanish, Neapolitan, and Bar blood, along with Thoroughbred and Hanoverian. The early Oldenburg horses were well known for their consistency and conformation, great power, and magnificent coal-black color. They were also famed for their kind character and extreme willingness to work, under saddle, in front of a carriage, or in the fields. During the present century, as the need for carriage horses dwindled, more thoroughbred and Norman blood was introduced, resulting in the production of a magnificent all-purpose saddle horse. Oldenburgs are used today for show jumping, dressage, and three-day eventing, as well as occasional driving. National Show Horse 
The National Show Horse is known for its combination of beauty, stamina, agility, grace, charisma, and flowing athleticism, which results in its versatility. This versatility makes the breed particularly appealing as a show horse that every member of the family can become involved with. The breed's most noticeable feature is its long, swan-like, high-set and upright neck, which adds to its elegance. It is a crossbreed between the Arabian horse and the American saddlebred, and it was officially recognized as a separate breed in 1981. It is now considered one of the most magnificent show horses in the world. You'll love the versatility of this breed if you're a fan of horses. Rocky Mountain Horse Despite its name, the Rocky Mountain Horse didn't develop in the Rocky Mountains, but in the Appalachian Mountains in the state of Kentucky. The breed is best known for its chocolate-covered coat and flaxen mane and tail, which is caused by the silver dapple gene acting on a base black coat. Rocky Mountain Horses can be any solid color, but they should not have large white markings on their face or any white above their knees. They have a wide chest, sloping shoulders, and an elegant head with bold eyes and well-shaped ears. The breed is an easy keeper with impressive hardiness, stamina, and sure-footedness. Rocky Mountain horses are renowned for their wonderful nature and affinity with humans. Bashkir Curly Horse The Bashkir Curly Horse is best known for its soft coat, which can either be wavy or in tight curls, including the mane and tail. The curls are most pronounced in the winter coat, which sheds to reveal either straight or slightly wavy hair. The mane and tail often shed out completely in the summer as well. Curlies are claimed to be the only hypoallergenic horse breed. The modern-day North American version of the curly goes back to 1898, when Peter Damelay spotted three horses with curled coats in the central Nevada mountains. Most of the Bashir curly horses found in the U.S. trace back to this herd. Frisian Considered a warm-blooded breed, the Frisian is willing to learn. Intelligent, energetic, and calm. They do not spook easily, and their desire to please makes them great for competitions such as dressage. This horse breed originated from Friesland in the Netherlands. One of the outstanding characteristics of the Frisian horse is its very long mane and tail. The breed also has abundant feather and long leg hair reaching from the middle of the leg. The color is always black, and only a white star in the forehead is permissible. The head of the Frisian is carried quite high, and the face is expressive. The neck is carried rather vertically and is low set. The legs and Frisian quarters are muscular yet smooth. Let's talk about Frederick the Great an 18-year-old pure-blood Frisian horse who was referred to as the real-life Black Beauty, or Storybook Stallion, for his remarkable good looks. He is also known as the world's most beautiful horse and turns heads wherever he goes. One glance at the horse makes it obvious as to why he's known as the most beautiful horse in the world. Although the Frisian horse breed is considered one of the most beautiful horse breeds, Frederick the Great takes beauty to a whole new level. He was born in the Netherlands and imported to the United States when he was six years old. He now lives at Pinnacle Frisians, a farm in the Ozark Mountains of Arkansas. The Shire Introducing the Shire, the tallest and heaviest horse breed on Earth. These majestic horses were traditionally used for agriculture, heavy hauling, and war in the rural shires or counties of England. The breed is believed to be descended from the Great Horse of Medieval England, a large and agile mount that could carry a knight and armor weighing up to 400 pounds. Shire horses can reach an average height of 20 hands and weigh between 850 to 1100 kilograms. The biggest reported Shire horse was Samson, born in 1848, who stood at 21.5 hands tall and weighed 1,524 kilograms. Lipizzaner With their long head and flat or convex profile, muscular and well-arched neck, deep and wide chest with powerful and sloping shoulders, and more rectangular than square build, the Lipizzaner is an unmistakable breed. 
The breed was founded in 1580, and detailed breeding records date from 1700. Its ancestors include Spanish, Arabian, and Berber horses. The Lipizzaner breed gets its name from the Austrian imperial stud at Lipizza, near Trieste, where they were originally bred to be cavalry mounts. Today, they are known for their intelligence, athleticism, and superb conformation, which allow them to perform some of classical dressage's most difficult movements, such as the famous Levade and Capriole. American Saddlebred The American Saddlebred, historically referred to as the Horse America Maid, has a long and proud history from the battlefields of Gettysburg to the bright lights of Madison Square Garden and a tremendous legacy of service in between. When thoroughbreds made their first appearance in North America during the 1700s, the colonists began crossing them with the Pacer. The resulting breed, first known as the American Horse, became extremely popular. So much so that in 1776, an American diplomat in France issued a letter to the Continental Congress proposing a gift of an American horse to Marie Antoinette. Civil War generals such as Robert E. Lee, Ulysses S. Grant, William Sherman, and Stonewall Jackson chose American saddlebreds as their wartime mounts. Tennessee Walking Horse over 100 years ago, the Tennessee Walking Horse was created in the Middle Basin of Tennessee. The early settlers of the region brought with them fine standard breads, Morgans, Thoroughbreds, Canadian, and Narragansett Pacers. And by combining the traits of these horse families, the foundation was laid for the Tennessee Walker, which developed distinctive qualities of its own. The most prominent characteristic of Tennessee Walkers is their swift and smooth running walk. They also have a finely chiseled head without appearing dainty, large eyes, and short, erect ears. The horse's neck is long and refined with a clear, thin throat latch, and it has a long, sloping shoulder with an equally long, sloping hip. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.